All right, so I'm going to try and make this video really quick, um, but I wanted to talk to you very quickly about an issue that I've just encountered with my Sony a7 III, and apparently this is an issue for all Sony a7 III's, and in fact some other mirrorless cameras as well. Um, particularly when you're using lenses uh, such as the 85 uh, 1.4, um, I guess it's to do with the fast light, uh, the fast lenses where you're getting a lot of light, the very large aperture values. Uh, and so here um, we have a wonderful picture and I was out wandering around. I want to get some nice kind of, you know, golden hour shots of, of, uh, of this person. And as I got back in, I imported the images and I converted them to DNG, which is my standard sort of workflow. And as I was looking closer and making some initial adjustments, you know, tones and so on like this, uh, I noticed when I got close that there were some lines here and I was a bit like, okay, um, must be an image with the render. Um, so I exported the image at full resolution and I viewed it on other devices like my iPad, for example, and those, those lines were still very much there. And after a bit of research, um, I was at least some degree to some degree relaxed by the idea that this is not my sensor failing which was what my initial concern was um, but in fact it's something called pdaf uh, striping or pdaf striping and it's apparently to do with the way the light hits the sensor and then bounces around in the lens a little bit before bouncing back onto the sensor there's a combination of different settings that you uh, would be unlucky enough to combine it with to end up with these uh, these lines and there's a piece of software out there on the internet, sorry, it's more of a website where you can upload your RAW files, uh, providing that they're compressed uh, Sony RAW files, and it will fix it, and that's great. And it's clear that there's a fix for it to some extent, but um, I don't use the Sony RAW files, and I certainly don't use the compressed versions. I use DNG in this case, um, once the images are in from the camera. So that left me in really no way to fix it. But actually, a bit more research, um, because I wasn't ready just to quit on it, I got to this uh, piece of software. Now, before we get to this piece of software, let's talk about uh, why I found it. So, there is a piece of software out there called Raw Therapy, and it's uh, it's free, which is awesome. Uh, I don't know if it's open source, um, but, you know, who cares? Uh, this is an amazing piece of software, and for those people that have been working on this, you filled a huge gap because this is a huge issue and it looks to me like you actually know what you're talking about and in fact, you've fixed it through your software. And the biggest challenge for me was how can I deal with this with the DNG files, which are obviously Adobe's format. <clears throat> and so I downloaded the software, I installed it and it looks like this. I found that same image and indeed uh, it is very much there. Uh, it's obviously there. And in the end, uh, I kind of hunted through the instructions and this is really kind of why I wanted to make this video to show you where I found this function and where it got fixed. So it's in the settings and on the right hand side here you have some processing profiles and I think it was this one, I'm actually doing this from memory. Yep, by default these are closed. And then there's pre-processing. There's also pre-processing here, but this one, sensor with Bayer matrix. Uh, Pre-processing, I expanded that, and look at this, PDAF lines filter. I gave it a click, and it's fixed. I cannot believe it. This has saved these pictures, and I am so thankful. The, obviously, there's a bit of manipulation here. If you get close, you can see that there's some lines, but I mean, come on, if you compare it, it's excuse the pun, night and day. So I am um, I'm very thankful for this. I hope this video helps you fix this issue too. And uh, yeah, Sony, come on guys, get out there with a fix. Or Adobe, implement this into your Lightroom software. Your DNG files, your software, you should be able to achieve this. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and hopefully this has been beneficial to you also.